Now for the last practice set of sketching, we are going to create these two sketches. So let's create this one first. Click on sketch, select a plane. Now first we have a circle of radius 23, then a circle of radius 31 and a circle of radius 40. Let's create it. First is 23, 23 into 2 because we are creating a diameter circle. Then we have 31 into 2, 62. And then we have 40 into 2. That means 80. Now as you can see, this one, this uh, 31 radius circle is a construction one. Let's create it as a construction. Now let's create some horizontal and vertical lines passing through the origin. Keeping in the mind that in the top and at the bottom and in the left side, we have to create lines, center lines, or you can make it construction lines. There is no major difference. Let's track the origin. Get one line here, track the origin, one more line here and let's first create the pattern of this six holes of 10 millimeter diameter. Let's start from here, just make sure that you are selecting the right point. Now let's create a circular pattern, select the object, select the center point, use this handle and six objects have been created. Now let's define these objects, just click on this line, coincide it with the origin and it's defined. Since this is defined, you can convert it into construction line. Next we have at this intersection which is 46 millimeter away from the line, vertical line that is passing through the origin, two circles of 8 and 15 radius. Let's first create the intersection. This one is 46. Two circles are there, 8 and 15, so 8 into 2 and 30, that means 15 into 2. Remove the unwanted areas, trim this one, trim this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. And then we have a fillet of radius 8 here and also in the bottom. So let's create a fillet, 8, 8, right click, repeat fillet, this is also 8, now let's coincide this horizontal line to the origin. And these circles just convert them into construction both of them then we are having these similar patterns the similar sketch entities in the top and the bottom so let's create them so for that we have to create a horizontal line which is 60 millimeter above the x-axis So this one is like 60 above. Since the dimension have been given, you can convert it into construction. 
टू सर्कल्स आर देयर वन ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू मिलीमीटर डायमीटर एंड अनादर इज ऑफ एटीन इंटू टू थर्टी सिक्स सो ट्वेंटी टू हियर एंड थर्टी सिक्स आफ्टर दैट वी आर हैविंग आर्क ऑफ रेडियस एट हियर विच इज ज्वाइनिंग और बेसिकली विच इज टेंजेंट टू दिस एटी डायमीटर सर्कल एंड दिस थर्टी सिक्स डायमीटर सर्कल सो फॉर दैट वी विल क्रिएट अ सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस एट इंटू टू कंट्रोल सेलेक्ट बोथ ऑफ दैम टेंजेंट एग्जिट कंट्रोल सेलेक्ट दिस टू मेक दम टेंजेंट एंड रिमूव द अनवॉन्टेड एरिया now this same sketch entity including this arc is exactly similar here in the bottom as you can see so what we will use mirror command select the objects select this line also select the mirror line press okay now for the last thing to be done in this sketch is this 100 radius circle which is tangent to this 36 radius 36 diameter circle in both the ends so let's create a circle of 200 diameter because radius is 100 control select these two make them tangent and tangency is maintained in the bottom as well And trim the unwanted areas. Now, only thing that is remaining in the sketch is this sketch entity here is not defined. So let's try to define it. It's already given forty six here. So let's try to define it by giving some dimensions. Let's say we are removing this forty six. and giving the dimensions by selecting these two circles and the sketch is defined sometimes you have to do certain adjustments in order to define the sketch okay these two things are not required trim them so as i was saying sometimes you have to make certain adjustments in the dimensions it's not like the sketch that you are getting you have to include the same dimensions you have to improvise in order to define the sketch itself as the sketch is complete finish the sketch now let's save it where in fusion 360 sketching this is lecture number 10 inside this lecture 10 Let's write practice exercise five. Moving on for the next sketch, we have to start with a circle of radius twenty and a circle of radius thirty one. Let's create a sketch circle. Twenty that means forty diameter and thirty one that means sixty two diameter. Let's adjust the dimensions. Now we have to create this pattern over this sixty two diameter or thirty one radius circle. So for that, let's create some horizontal and vertical lines passing through the origin and keeping the mind that in the bottom. we have two intersections so the vertical line would be a longer one control z for unwanted things and horizontal line could be shorter now let's create this pattern for this we are having two circles of radius 4 and radius 8 let's create it on this face 4 that means 8 and 
8 that means 16 trim the unwanted areas we are not trimming these four sketch entities here because it's part of the 62 diameter circle and if we remove them pattern will not be able to be made now let's create circular pattern select these two sketch entities objects select the center point drag this one to plus how many we require six now trim the unwanted areas Okay, we are almost set so let's define this pattern that we have made for that let's uh, coincide this horizontal line to the origin so it's not doing the magic select the vertical line coincide with the origin still it's not getting defined so we have to give some extra dimensions let's say from this circle to this circle this is 62 and it is defined as you can see this dimension that I have provided is not visible in the actual sketch or the reference sketch but it's it's not the concern the concern is the sketch has to be defined so if you have to give extra dimension that you have to give extra dimensions moving on let's convert these two lines into construction then for the bottom portion we are having two intersections which are 110 millimeter apart that means 55 from this side 55 from this side and this line is 65 millimeter below the horizontal line passing through the origin so let's create that first make a horizontal line let's make it a bit larger you can always click on the start or the end point of the line and you can drag it to make it larger now this is 65 millimeter from this one let's make it 65 then these two vertical lines they are 55 and 55 millimeter apart from this line so let's make it this is like 55 mm on the second thought you can see that this particular sketch entity this these uh, concentric circles this arc this line they are quite similar they are a replica of what is in the other side so we can use mirror command here so let's make first here so here two circles are there one of radius 10 and another one of radius 15 so circle of diameter 20 and 30 let's convert this one to construction convert this one to construction now from here one straight line is there create a straight line just zoom in and make sure that it is touching this arc this circle then this arc here is of radius 18 or 36 diameter circle we can make here let's say here 36 select this one select this line make them tangent and select this one select this circle make them tangent remove the unwanted areas now let's invoke the mirror command select the objects this arc 
of radius 18 this line these two circles and select this construction line as well select the mirror line and it has been replicated now as you can see in the bottom of the sketch this arc the dimension of the arc is not given it's not available in the reference sketch but it's 100 millimeter it should have been given but it's not there so let's take it 100 that means we have to create a circle of radius 200 select this circle select this one tangent here also I suppose tangency is maintained trim the unwanted areas Now only thing that is remaining is this, this, these concentric circles which are equal to these two. So for that we will select these two circles, control C, control V, drag the pasted one. If it's not snapping on this one, just zoom inside. Now snap it, take it down, press OK. But as you can see. It is not tangent you have to zoom in and see it is not tangent to the 200 diameter circle so let's create tangency constant here now we are almost set with the sketch the sketch is almost complete just one minute detail that is these two circles they are not defined they are having dimensions but they are not having location so let's provide location to them click D and the sketch is fully defined remove the dimensions remove the constraints and try to make a comparison yes, we have made a similar sketch now let's save it in Fusion 360 sketching Lecture 10 Practice exercise I suppose sixth one and we are all set click on finish sketch